So the first thing that you got to do here is to actually import all your files, which means, uh, which, uh, which in this case is basically the, the images. So I'll just briefly go through all those images here. So first you need to have all the questions. So I have five questions over here. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I do have the scoreboard as well. So score one, zero, one, two, three, and four. So basically I need to have five score bot images. That basically meaning one star, two star, and then up all the way up to five stars and five questions to answer. So that's basically the assets that I need to upload here. And then just before we could actually uh, go into the, the meat of this tutorial, you gotta understand that this, this, this uh, patch is actually quite huge. So it is very important for you to actually group the whole patch that you have done previously in the part one tutorial under one group. So you can see that this is basically the, the part where I've already grouped. So you need to add this this whole uh, head rotation thing under this group. So if I double click on this, you can see that the whole thing is here, the head rotation and everything. So you don't want it to be messy, plus you don't really have that much of space. So in that case, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is under like this. It's just nice and neat. All right, now, so the first thing that we're gonna do in, for us to actually add questions is basically adding the questions. So let's go to face tracker zero and then add object, look for plane and then insert. And then I'm gonna just drag and drop here. The reason why we are adding plane under the first person's head is basically because we want to make sure the, the questions are appearing on top of the first person's head. So for that, we are adding it here. So I'm gonna rename this to Q1 and then I'm gonna make sure I add a material, new material, and this new material will be having the first question. And just, just rename this to, okay. Now, I'm just gonna pause this video here so that I could make this, uh, align this thing properly. And then I'm gonna move this up a bit. All right, so this is basically how we're gonna show the whole question, right? Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing for the rest of the questions that we, ha we have here. So let me just get it done for you first. All right, so I already have all the materials done for each of those questions. Now, it's time to go to the patch. So for us to actually add this question, first we need to add an R gate. All right, so let's go and look for an R gate here. So an R gate, or in this case, we're gonna call it an R node, is basically allowing us to use one of these two cases. And the reason why we're using it is basically to actually make the questions visible every time when you and your friend are leaning towards the same direction or to the opposite direction. So that's basically why we're using the R node here. So basically it's a logic we're using here. So I'm gonna move those, this thing here. Oh. And then the next thing that I'm gonna add is basically a pulse and I'll tell you why I'm adding pulse in a bit all right now since we already added pulse we want to make sure we have a delay so supposedly I need to add a delay here so let me just do that first supposed to add a delay here before I could actually add a pulse okay the reason why we're adding a delay first because we want to make sure the questions are visible every one second after you and your friend are leaning towards either one direction okay so that's exactly why we're actually adding a delay you can put a one second i prefer putting one second here and then we are going to add this pulse and the reason why we're adding pulse is to actually add another node called counter and counter allows us to actually count the amount of the number of times the head is being rotated to either one of those direction both heads i mean so when we connect this here and we put a maximum count of five that means this counter will count maximum to five and then it will restart so that's basically the idea we want to make sure it counts so the first question will be visible as soon as after you start the lens i mean the filter i mean so for that, you just need to right-click 
look for equals exactly and then connect this make it zero here so it's already zero and i'm going to copy this and paste make it one i'm going to make it two so just to make this thing clean let me just move it in yeah okay two and then i'm going to make this three and i'm going to make this four I'm gonna make that another one last one is five but i'm not going to add five here and i'll let you know why in a bit so we're going to add that maximum of four why because the first question is already being added here how are we going to add the cash question basically go to q1 and then just click on visible and just connect the question so that's that's it you just need to actually do that for each of these questions so let me just do that Alright, so we have done until question number 5. Since we already have all the questions being set here, so the rule looks in a very simple way. Every time you are moving your head together with your friend in either one of those directions, there will be a 1 second delay and after that 1 second, the counter will work to count and it will move to question number 2 and then question number 3 and question number 4 every single time. That's basically the idea of using a counter. Now. The questions has been done. The question right now have no problem at all. Now we're gonna move into the scoreboard. And to actually add the scoreboards, we already have the scoreboards here. So we just need to make sure that we have all of it. All of it. Now to add the scoreboard, the trick is to actually add a canvas. Okay, so let's just add a canvas. And then under a canvas, we're gonna add a rectangle. And we're gonna rename this rectangle as score one. Let's call zero. I'm gonna put SO so it's easier for me to understand. Okay. And then I'm gonna look for material, create new material, and then look for score zero. Okay. Now I need to find where is this question, right? So for that, I just need to pause this move all the way down so there it is there that's 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 exactly where you have actually put your question now i'm gonna make this thing bigger all right so this is basically when you're starting so basically you don't have any stars and the stars will be in uh the no you will un, uh, be able to see the number of stars every time you actually get a right, right when you and your friend are moving to the right direction so if you're getting one star it's basically a out of the five questions or maybe the first one question you already get like correct so that's basically when you get the first star so it, the stars will keep on add up keep on adding up until the fifth question uh, make by ensuring that you're getting the right answer so that's basically how it works so we already have this I'm gonna do that for the rest of the scoreboard all right so you can see this is like a full five star basically showing that you have gotten all the questions correct so what we're gonna do here is basically create a logic where every time you and your friend are moving to the same direction you guys are adding a star so that's basically the idea to do that first you need to understand this one the note the output over here is basically the moving to the same direction output all right so we're gonna pull this and then we're gonna create a counter all right so we already have a counter here with the pulse okay and then we're gonna have a maximum count of five because we have five questions so and then we're gonna add an equals exactly logic over here and exactly like what we did for questions we're gonna do that for this whole uh, score logic so that's exactly what we're gonna do here so let me just uh, add all the equals exactly this
all right so we already have all this logic here so we're going to add the visible part so first for the first time i mean for the when there is no score being made it's basically zero so we're going to take this and then just drag and drop here and then doing for the second one All right, so we already have all the logics done for question uh, for the scoreboard. Sorry, so you already have the equals exactly for each of this case, and uh, it works exactly like how I uh, briefed you before. Now the thing here is maybe this is already nice, already like enough nice enough for you to actually use, but maybe you want to actually go one step ahead where you want to make sure the question the scoreboard is visible at the end of the game which means after playing for like the fifth time you are you will be able to like make the question visible i mean make the scoreboard visible so you will be able to see how many stars you've collected so to do that we're gonna move all the way up and here's why i actually told you to actually i told you that i'll explain to you why we added canvas the reason why we added canvas is basically to ensure that the canvas is visible at counter number five at the fifth counter at the fifth count we want to make sure the canvas is visible so to do that we are making sure the scores are under canvas and then the canvas is visible at the fifth count so that's exactly how this whole thing works it's basically like a trick for you to be able to like make this thing visible at the point where you want so i'm going to use a equals exactly i'm going to put five Basically, that's basically the end of the game. And then I'm going to use a switch. So switch allows me to actually turn on the canvas. All right, now put this here. And then I'm going to make the canvas visible under the switch. So at the fifth count, the canvas will be visible. And whatever score that has been made based on the counter for moving to the same direction will be visible down here. And that's exactly how you create a who's more likely filter with no coding. So that's basically me using the patch. And yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. I will be more than happy to actually answer. And if you guys need the project file for this Instagram filter, do let me know in the comment section and I'll be able to like pass it to you. So I'll be seeing you in the next tutorial and good luck with this project. See you.